Hi everyone, my name is Sharon. So today God is saying that there's about to be a divine transfer, something that was belonging to an enemy, something that was belonging to the wicked, something that was belonging to someone in a very, very high position is about to be transferred. It's about to be transferred to you in the mighty name of Jesus. It's about to be given unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. There are powers that they had that are going to be transferred unto you. That is why here when you read in the book of Esther chapter 8 verse 1, the Bible says that same day King Xerxes gave King Esther the estate of Haman, the enemy of the Jews. And Mordecai came into the presence of the king. For Esther had told how he, how he was related to her. The king took off his signet ring, which he had reclaimed from Haman, and presented it to Mordecai. And Esther appointed him over Haman's estate. Hallelujah. So you can see here now there was a transfer going on. So this is after now Haman had been impaled. And if you read in the prayer scriptures, Haman wanted the Jews to be destroyed. He wanted Mordecai to be destroyed. But guess who became destroyed? Who got destroyed? It's Haman who was destroyed by the king instead of the Jews. And then now after Haman had passed on, this is what happened. The Bible says that now the king took the signet ring that was belonging to Haman and gave it to who? And gave it to now Mordecai. And Haman was the enemy of the Jews. And also now Haman and also now uh, Mordecai was in charge of the estate of Haman. So it shows you that now there was a transfer. A transfer had taken place. Now the powers that Haman had, now they were transferred over to Mordecai. Now Mordecai had all these powers. Now Mordecai was in authority. He was given all the authority. Now Mordecai had taken over the position of Haman. So God is also saying in your life, there's about to be a great, great transfer going on. You are about to be receiving what you used to be belonging to your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. That's why here, the Bible in the book of Proverbs chapter 13 verse 22 the Bible says, a good person leaves an inheritance for their children's children, but a sinner's wealth is stored up for the righteous. So you can see in the case of Haman, Haman did not even leave a single thing over to his wife, over to his children. Everything of his now was under the administration of who? Of Mordecai. That is why the Bible says that a sinner's wealth is stored up for the righteous. Now everything that he had worked for, everything that should have belonged to Haman, now it was given to Mordecai the righteous. It was stored for Mordecai the righteous. So God is also still saying in your life, you are going to be enjoying the wealth of the sinner, the wealth of the wicked, the wealth of your enemies. It's still going to be stored up for you. It's still going to be stored up for you. Their wealth is still going to be transferred unto you. Their positions are still going to be coming for you, coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus. God is saying that expect this divine transfer to be happening. It has been approved by the king. It has been approved by God. It is coming for you. It is locating you. Your position is about to be changing. God is still saying that this is the year of elevation. He is elevating you. You are taking over from your enemies. You are taking over from the enemies of the Jews. You are taking over from the enemies of the Lord, your enemies, in the mighty name of Jesus. So may you receive this change in your life. May you receive the wealth that was belonging to your enemies, that was belonging to the people who did not like you, the people who wanted to see you being defeated, who wanted to see you being destroyed, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.